Good morning. Um, well, I'm just about ready for the off. Here's my baggage. It's a lot lighter than last time. It's still not light, but a lot lighter. It's a fantastic day to be setting out. Lovely sunny day. I mean, I might com be complaining about this later. But basically, here I go again. I tried this a few months ago, but I'm walking from here, my front door, postcode HR96PZ and I'm walking directly south, as south as I can, uh, keeping true to that until I reach the south coast, hopefully in seven or eight days time. And that'll be a, at a place called Chesil Beach, just west of Weymouth. So, looking forward to it. I've got quite a bit of terrain to go through. I know I'll be passing through the, by the Forest of Dean later today. Uh, tomorrow I'll be crossing over the uh, Avonmouth Bridge, uh, going through Bristol, on the third day, then out, out into True Magna, uh, North Somerset Downs, and the Mendips, then into Dorset, and then the South Coast. So it should be a, an exciting trip for me, if I can do it. I'm only uh, literally 30 seconds from my, my place. Uh, that's, that's my home over there. I've just walked down the road, but this is the first opportunity as I have a bit of a look south really so I thought I'd switch on. Those, those low hills over there I'll probably have passed those within a couple of hours. I think they're just beyond Goodrich. I'll go through Goodrich on the way to Simmons Yacht so I'll soon be leaving those behind me. Um, but it, it, distances can be deceptive because they look quite a long way away but now nah, a couple of hours I'll have passed them. But uh, exactly September look all the hay bales in the field, but it's absolutely stunning day, it's ever so warm. I've been lucky again, um, and I hope I'm still saying that in a few hours time. Uh, the weather's set to stay like this, well, that's today, Friday. Saturday and Sunday is also supposed to be very nice. Uh, I think Monday the weather closes in a bit, and hopefully by then I'll be uh, on, on the Mendip somewhere. And uh, I've bought waterproof, so I'll be okay. Uh, next stop the River Y and then Goodrich. Uh, that tunnel there has just brought me under the A40 which runs from Ross to Monmouth. Um, a road uh, I go along quite often, I pick my son up. I walk through a small farmyard uh, under there and I've reached the River Y. Well, I go that way next. But actually at the Y now. I'll be following the course of the Y for a while now, well into Goodrich. Uh, I'm about half hour into the walk now and I seem to remember from last time there's a little wood ahead that I kind of got lost in so I'm hoping not to repeat that. Just stick to the river. Walking right alongside the river Y now. I've been uh, walking alongside the river probably about three quarters of an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. I'm going to carry on up. Uh, there's the direction I'm going. Uh, we'll shortly be passing a place called Pencraig, which I know from driving past when I go to fetch my son. I'll be walking in through some woodland up there, and I do remember a steep climb up and then a slow descent into Goodrich, uh, where it may well be time for a, a pint of something cool and refreshing. It's a lovely warm day. A bit disappointed in my boots, though, my new. Gore-Tex boots. I went through some long wet grass and my left foot's wet already. I haven't really done the job. I don't know if long wet grass is particularly uh, persistent in getting water into your boots, but it certainly has on this occasion. Canoeist. Matt and I have done that. Jolly good fun.
Oh man, killer gradient. First one of the day. Uh, I've just climbed up very steeply through Pencray Court Wood. And uh, well, I'm at the top of it now. Uh, that's the view over there. Back towards, or well, down there is the River Wye. Heading back towards Ross. And actually in the distance, probably back towards Ledbury where I work. Some 15, 16 miles back. Uh, beautiful day isn't it. I'm going to carry on round there in a minute. It's a road that takes me to uh, Goodrich beyond that. That's home farm behind me. I should be at Goodrich within an hour. Have a bit of a rest there again. Oh, how long have I been going? About an hour and three quarters now. Soon to time to pitch up on it. I'm at the top of the keep of uh, Goodrich Castle now. Thought I'd take another look. I managed to get inside this time. It was shut last time. But I've had a, had a stroll around all the various parts, Port Collis. I'm now on the keep. It's a courtyard there. That's a. Uh, well, what is that? That's heading back up north that way from where I've come from. I'm sweeping around. It's a lovely view from here. Uh, the def direction I walk on will be uh, down there. That's south. I guess along that road over the bridge. I think I know that bridge. I think the inn on the Y is uh, in the background over there. Hope so. I'm thirsty. That's the way I walked in and we were walking back out. Bit of a notice board about the keep. Anyway, the stairs I came up, extremely narrow and dark and treacherous. Not so bad here, but the deeper you go, well, I'll give it a go while I'm recording. Probably break my neck. Splendid, this, isn't it? A lot of the disrepair here is due to the Civil War of 1642, ended in 1646, where this was actually held by royalists and then laid siege to by parliamentary forces. The parliamentarian commander of Hereford was sent down to uh, sort them out here. And he had a cannon made locally, which fired from the south. There was no woods then, this was all open land then. And I suppose they struck here, the south wall. Uh, well, I know they did, and did the damage. And it only took about three rounds, three shells. Once the uh, inhabitants had heard that the king had been captured, they, they surrendered, and that was that. here these are actual cannonballs that the parliamentarian forces fired during the siege workmen discovered them in the 1920s in the corner of the moat roaring meg that was the uh, gun that was made for the siege, I remember now. The original was actually in Hereford Museum. They were shot mortars into the castle. 31st of July 1646 is when they surrendered the castle. I'm on Huncham Bridge now over the River Wye. Uh, this is the River Wye. And uh, I've got to walk along that riverbank there and up t 
towards, well that in the background behind the tree is Simmons Yat, I'll walk around that. Probably stop for lunch at the other end. And just realise that opposite sloping woodland there is where my brother and I do a walk to cut back into Goodrich. Continue to be a great day. I spoke to a couple on top of the keep at Goodrich Castle, elderly couple. I had to go back up there, left my map there didn't I? About the most inaccessible place of the whole castle and I'll leave my map. I had to go and fetch it and I got talking to an elderly couple and they were asking what I was doing and they reckoned that the good weather is going to last till Monday, which I knew, and then be rainy Monday, which I also knew, but then they said it's set to get better again come Tuesday, which I wasn't aware of. So I can, I can do one day of miserable rain, if they're right. Uh, my feet, they're, they're alright, they're not as bad as they were this time last time round. I think the lighter pack is helping. I'm going to try and get into a habit of taking my boots and socks off when I stop for lunch breaks and things like that. Let my feet breathe a bit and also give the socks a chance to dry out because of that wet grass. There we are. This is where I cut across now. Up there and into, well, I think that's Elliot's Wood there from memory at Simmons Yacht and I go into that and round it. Surely good hockey sticks. Up until yet, I've been walking along the river towards Elliot's Wood, but I've actually reached the opening of the wood now. Uh, the river wise is just over there, beyond that belt of trees. I've walked along this track, I'm just about to enter Elliot's Wood now. And this will take me sort of, let me see, west and around Simmons Yat rather than up and over it. Uh, I think there's a bit of a climb ahead though, from memory. And uh, once I come out the other side, I'm going to sit by the river and have lunch. It's going to be lovely and cool under these trees, I know that. Mm -hmm. Having a break, I've just had a lunch break by the river Y here. That's Simmons Yacht up there. I'm just on the, the other side of it there, the end of it. I've got to go up through those woods without using the track swing round and then I'll hit the village of Christchurch and after that Colford and then Bream. I'm about halfway through the walk I suppose, my feet are okay. I am sorely low on water though, that's a bit worrying. I'm going to have to fill up at the nearest place, nearest opportunity I can. Uh, but it was a, this was a lovely stop for lunch. It's just, look at that, part of the Y Valley. It's just been so peaceful apart from the uh, canoes going past and the odd quacking duck. I'm just about ready to move on there. Lovely early autumn scene, so I thought I'd commit it to digital. Yes, a field I'm walking through along the around, around the boundary of. Uh, I've got to go up there and hit a road. Uh, it's just all these, well, what do you call them? Bales of hay? All gathered up and ready. On this beautiful autumn day, I came through a, a very overgrown style there. I think this farmer's obviously not a fan of walkers. I you know, like to battle through nettles and it's almost hidden. Bastard. But I'm through now and I'm going to go across his field because I can, hold it right away, and uh, hit the road over there. Oh, I'm three parts up a uh, small, but at this stage of the day, tiring hill called Chapel Hill, which is in the Forest of Dean area and just short of the large village of Christchurch. Uh, pointing the camera back the way I've came, or well, the way I've come today, that's, that's north. Lovely views as I'm getting higher, that is the upside of climbing hills. I seem to remember last time I went wrong, I went wandering off up that way somewhere and found the road in the end. But I've, I'm on the right track this time, I'm sure. I've got to carry on up that way. And uh, at the top we shall find a road and that road will take me into Christchurch, then on to Colford. But at the moment I just need to rest. My water ran out about 10 minutes ago. 
and uh, yeah I am thirsty so I'm looking forward to getting to Christchurch or Colford whichever one gives me a drink that'll be good I'll be spoiled for choice either a pub or a supermarket that'd be great been a fantastic day what time is it now 20 past 4 I wanted to be pitching up by 6 but I might try and stretch it till 7 see how far I can get today uh, I've been walking about six hours now with a lunch break and a break at the castle and it's been a fantastic day ah, had a bit of a crossroads now um, almost literally certainly a fork I'm at Elwood um, it's a lovely quiet village in the Forest of Dean district now I don't know whether I go straight ahead up there or up that lane there I think it's up that lane there and that's where I'm going to go but I could be sending myself in the wrong direction we'll see uh, I've been through Christchurch now and also Colford it's worth mentioning a place in Christchurch a pub called The New Inn which has twice now been my saviour in terms of liquid refreshment and a bit of a rest and also on this occasion the guy allowed me to charge my phone for the half hour or so I was there so a big up for the new inn in Christchurch that's what I say it's uh, well what about half six in the evening now at the most I'm going to be walking for another hour I want to pitch up between quarter past and half past seven wherever I am whether I be at Bream or not so I'd better get a shift on but uh I love it. Seems a nice place to live, Alwood. Very quiet. There were children and their father playing on the green, just just on the way in. And they said a cheerful hello. It just seems a very nice place. Very peaceful.